soon as you turn on the engine, the thing's gonna fly up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, beautiful day here in Cali, homie Sergio. God, look at that weather, sunny fucking day. Well, anyways, uh, today we're picking up the uh, 454. Got a tire there for it, and uh, tools, and I mean everything else is that's just trash of all this shit we got. But um, yeah, I mean we're heading up to Dre's place, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, guys, there it is, the famous. A dually 454, built by Dre. Uh, no, no warranty, nothing. No warranty, anything. <laughs> just the word of a man. <laughs> That's no, all right. No, no, no. Due, due to the nature of racing, there is no warranty. Due to the nature of my foot being heavy, there's no warranty. <laughs> That's what it says on the uh, Wise Coast box. It says due to the nature of uh, racing, no warranty. No warranty. <laughs> Uh, we'll be fine, right, Sergio? Oh, well. This is the thing, you know. I've learned that if you got to break in an engine properly, after that, you can beat the shit out of it. Yeah. So, yeah. if we can do that, then I can do burnouts and all kinds of stupid stuff. Well, Fidel, that gives you weight enough for you to break your engine correctly. Dude. Okay, with, with, with your kind of record you have. <laughs> yeah. Dude, is that a new oil filter? Yeah. Dude, you're treating me here, man. Everything? Jeez. Wow. Yeah. You really did it this time, Dre. Yeah. No, now I feel like I can bring an engine, man. Bro, I told you, I told you, we could have been swapping it right now. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we could have been swapping it. Could have been giving him yeah, the 460. Bro. We'll see. Yeah, but later on, Dre. Dude, I think I was reading that there's more aftermarket support for a 390 than a 360. For Ford. But, I mean, it will still be a badass to build a 460. <laughs> Run long enough to get aftermarket. Oh my god. Uh, well, this thing is going to be sitting on this poor little tire. Like, I'm looking at the oil pan, I'm thinking that's going to go way past the tire. <laughs> that's all right. I feel like we've done sketch her shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Leaving the phone on a exhaust, that, that was kind of fun. Oh, that, that was you, dude. That was 100% you. I remember you questioned us for like 20 minutes, like, who I has my like, phone? where the fuck did my phone go? He thought somebody was playing a prank on him. <laughs> Turns out, when we were working on the van, he left it on the exhaust when he was like bolting something. Oh, on. yeah, I remember. My mom called me, so I had to answer, you know? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Only you, man. Don't worry, like, the day we went pick up the engine, the guy had his phone here, bro, with the light. Yeah. And he got a stuck between the thing, the roof, and this dude, dude, so you gotta, you gotta yeah, fucking so jack the thing out. When we took a pick up the 454, I put my phone right here so I can flash light down into the engine while we're loading it, and then it just got stuck right in there, so I had to pry that thing open and get it out. We drove like at least a mile and then we stopped on the gas station and then he just was checking it out. <laughs> it was funny. So I guess it's gonna be named Hector, you dick. Don Hector, all right, I guess Hector's coming in.
always forget how to use this fucking thing. No, not again, bro. I always do. You know how long it took us last time to to fix, gotta fix it, right? You know how to use this one of these, Dre? Apparently, Fidel can't do it. Fuck you. Dre, do you want to teach Fidel how to pick, how to use one of those? No. Apparently, this is the third time he's using it. He's still not how to still learn how to use it. Uh, you pull the two releases. There's another release on the other side, and then you pull. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. It's all that dreadlock power. <laughs> all right, so when you do it, you take out all the slack except for a little bit, and you only want one wrap around. All right, well, we want a lot of it out, right? Yeah, just pull on whatever you need. Redeems himself. As soon as you turn on the engine, the thing's gonna fly out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see cops going everywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, Fidel, I built it right. <laughs> Uh, I'll hold it if you want to. Mm. All right, that should be secure enough for us. Okay, I'm going nowhere. So now, now when you hit it, it's going to undo the whole thing and it, you just pull it through. Now we know for next time. That's why he's the one building the engine. Yeah, we got, that's why we trusted you, Jay. The the lux, what's the name of the garage again? Dry lux. Dry lux, right. Finally, I can feel the storage. We're here at the storage and got the old Hector here. And we're going to throw it in the storage and let it sit there for a month. month or two. Uh, so, yeah, say bye. So, engine is in the storage. So you can see this is the uh, Dually 454 we pulled down, and my buddy Dre fixed up. Uh, so, a couple of things to point out. Uh, you probably want to get a little bit closer here. So, and then, so uh, we have a uh, Street Warrior uh, Y-end uh, intake, which was one of the options uh, that I found for a peanut port head uh, head. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the ones that flows a little bit better for that head. Uh, it's one of the worst heads for big blocks, but we'll do an upgrade eventually, but it should still make decent uh, power and torque. Now the valve covers, these are Moroso blue valve covers for a big block Chevy. Now these are super hard to find now. Um, they used to make in gold, red, and blue, and I scored a, a pair of blue ones. They're a little bit beat up. They came all the way from uh, Michigan. 
some dude sent them to me, but it was a pain on the ass finding a, a pair of decent ones that weren't messed up or anything like that. Um, so I finally scored some. Engine uh, is painted black. I know Drake put a cam in there. Nothing crazy, just a mild, like little cam. So we might hear a little bit of noise there. Other than that, seals and everything else should be stock. It's literally a rebuilt engine. Nothing crazy, just simple rebuild. Um, so yeah, guys, it should make uh, it should make some decent power. Uh, I don't see it making more than, geez, what something like, 230 horsepower, 240 horsepower, and uh, torque would probably don't quote me on this, people, be somewhere up in like 300 and 310, 15 pound feet of torque. I could be wrong, but also coming up, we're gonna have the exhaust headers, which I already have here in storage. Uh, but uh, they're gonna have the big uh, exhaust headers coming out of the side. Now they're gonna be black at first when we break in the engine, just for the purpose of breaking it in. Then we'll pull them, paint them white, and break in the headers because there's a process to break in uh, headers that have been painted white. That way the paint doesn't come off or peel off. So, but yeah, guys, picture black lock, blue covers, and white exhaust coming out of the sides. Thing's gonna be a beauty. Well, I'll start uh, buying stuff for the front, dressing it up, water pump and stuff. I won't install it, but I'll test fit it and so on. And then uh, I'll keep you guys posted as I buy more stuff. Um, but that's kind of it. It's getting kind of freaking hot in here. There's no airflow. Uh, we're tired, so we're just going to store this thing and head out and call it a day.